Door come in here, and then you see the printers we created in the last session. And then here it says the domain is workgroup, which is basically just a workgroup with the name workgroup since we're not using a PDC on that. And OS it's a Unix, which is an orchestral Linux machine. And the server itself is Samba 3.4.0. And underneath, underneath the uh, server list, you see every mach Windows machine or a machine that uses the SMB or SIFS protocol, which is, in my case, the machine Diamond Fire. Sonic is our Samba server, and Turkin is my Linux Samba client. Then the workgroup, you see all the workgroups within our network. I have my other production workgroup here, Catechus, and then um, the test work group we use here for that video and then we have two masters here you're probably asking why are we have two masters here one is for this one work group and the other one is for our test work group and the master basically here means this machine is the holder of the uh, network network information you know the, the machines pass around a file that gets updated um, by every machine that's on that work group and adds its own uh, entry in there and um, that's how you will see the information in the network neighborhood all right let's go over to places and network let me just drag that over here so um, on the network you will see all the machines that are discovered on your network and then you will see a folder here it's called Windows Network. This is basically a Windows Network neighborhood. Just access that one and then you see the work groups within your network neighborhood. Go to all work group, work group and then you see those three machines that are part of that work group. And then here's our server, access our server and then we see also our share we just created and then we click on that one so we didn't get any error message it didn't ask for username and password so we're good so and to show you to demonstrate that we're good let's create a folder and just call it test see that worked well go in here and then create a document yeah test dot text open up the document enter some information here save it close it all right and then we can open it again so everything works very well all right let's minimize that and then i'll show you how that will look like here on the linux machine so enter ls al then srv yeah srv share so we see since we used the the uh, network network neighborhood and created a folder um, the creation mask is 755 and the owners are nobody and the owner group is no group and here's our test folder and let's go in there as well and show you the content of that one and you see the the mask is uh, changing now um, now it's 744 so it means the owner who created that which in our case is nobody and no group so uh, everybody who access that um, share is part of that so um, everybody can create that so if you create a file someone else can go in there and update your file delete it or whatever so there's ca some kind of security risk but within your family that should be probably fine okay since you know how to create a uh, somber share that is easy accessible for everybody we go ahead and create some uh, user control, permission control to it, very simple, nothing really secure but just to make it a little bit more secure than it is right now and control uh, the users who has access to it. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and um, edit the uh, configuration file I'm using nano etc samba 
smb.com. Alright, then there, here are a few things we gotta change, like the security level, we gotta change to user. Then we gotta add uh, directive encrypt passwords equals yes. And uh, let me go down here, remove the um, guess OK equals yes. And then we add two more, that is the directory mask. Directory mask equals 775. And we cre uh, add the create mask equals 775. So this gives us the ability to create as that user um, directories and files within the subdirectories or at all. Alright, so let's go ahead and save that. Then we are going to um, yeah, going to reload our Samba configuration. That's done. And now what we have to do is we have to add a user that uh, will be asked for username and password to grant access to this particular share. Right. Um, one thing you have to know is that uh, Samba requires that a Linux user account already exists for that particular user. So you got to make sure that you add that uh, user to your Linux machine. If you have done that, then you can go ahead and use the the command smb passwd a for add user and uh, enter the username. Then get that user account and password and retype that password. Okay, added the user. So that's fine. We got all that done. And just to make sure, we go ahead and reload our. Samba configuration file again. And then we go ahead in our network environment to Microsoft Windows Network Neighborhood. Then go to our work group. And then it might take you a few seconds for uh, to be populated. And since we just reloaded the configuration, it's not just showing right away. There we go. Then we go to our server, to our share, and here it will ask you for username, domain name, or workgroup name, and password. So add just the password you just assigned to that user account, enter, and then we have access. So now we can go ahead and create a document. Look here just one txt edit this document you know, some content in there save it close it open up again add another line to it save it so we know that is working then we create a, a folder call it test folder go in there and we can do the same thing here create a file call it test2 dot txt, open it up, and um, add some content, save it, close it, see if we can open it up again, Punch is still there, you can add another to it, save it, alright, it's done. So now, you see we have created some uh, user control to that, um, okay, I hope that um, help you and get you started in setting up Samba as your file sharing server for Linux or Windows and um, yeah we'll see you in my next video um, thank you for watching and don't forget to visit my blog and if you have any questions or critics or anything else just post on my blog thank you very much and see you next time